depending with what time you're watching this I hope you're doing well uh, my name is Carrie if you're new here and welcome to a new vlog I just got to the office and uh, I'm wearing a suit from Zara uh, it's one of those oversized suits I'll remove the coat because it's too hot but for the sake of this video I want to show you the full suit it looks like that I will remove the coat so that I can show you the rest of the outfit. All right, so I'm wearing this neat top from Woolworths and the sunglasses are from Michael Kors. I love them. And the trousers look like that. I think they're called dad trousers. Then I'm wearing Tommy Hilfiger shoes. There you go. They are thrifted by the way. Gucci Bloom. It's a beautiful scent for sure. I would highly recommend it. I got it from Sierra Perfumes. So that's the outfit of the day. I want to quickly show you the fries that I showed you. I think two vlogs from this one. So those babies are fully grown now. Not fully grown but they have really uh, transformed. And I want to turn around the camera so that you can see. We have new fries here also from another fish. Um, they are growing in there. Once they are big enough, they will mix with the rest of the fries down in the tank. So that's how our fish look and that's my office. We are heading to ABC place with my colleague right there. Hi. We're going there to see whether we can put up an activation or a poster on the notice board because because we have noticed that we are getting a lot of support from abc place and so that's why we are going there to see whether we can do that i'm also going to be looking at another location that we are hoping to open for top right um i think i'm gonna go to mombasa road after i finish with abc place but i haven't decided yet I'm back at home from work today I didn't vlog in the morning because I had so much going on in the morning I just got home uh, it's around six o'clock um, I don't know if I should show you my outfit of the day but I know you guys like this kind of stuff so I'm wearing this green top from Zara the blazer I was wearing yesterday and then I have these white pants I think I bought it from a shop in town. Um, I'm barefoot, but I was wearing brown loafers from Zara too. Okay, so I'm gonna change my clothes and go to the gym because I never made it in the morning. As you know chicken breast is a bit dry so I decided to make mushroom sauce to go with the chicken breast and uh, as you can see here I am just frying some onions with olive oil and I added a bit of salted butter from KCC which is so yummy I also added garlic and ginger paste 
and fried it just a little bit until it was fragrant. Now at this point you have to be very careful not to burn the garlic and ginger. And then I added the mushrooms and a bit of salt to taste. And just like any other vegetable, once you add the salt, the mushrooms sweat quite a bit and so I cooked them until they were completely dry. So I just kept turning the mushrooms so that they were evenly cooked and that's how they were looking. So I think this process took about five minutes and now you can see the mushrooms are fully cooked. And at this point I added the non-dairy cream from Bio Foods. And um, the reason I do that is because I'm lactose intolerant so I use the non-dairy cream. Just make sure that you don't overcook the cream because it's not good when you boil the cream, you just heat it up a bit. A pinch of black pepper and the sauce was done. It was so yummy, you guys. So, so yummy. Hi guys, I'm currently at Dr. Weller's uh, clinic. Um, the reception area for the clinic is a bit too cold for my liking. And even if it is summer right now and the sun is all out, the waiting room for uh, Dr. Wala's clinic is too cold for me. Today the plan is to finish off leveling my teeth. So we are going to move the brackets uh, to level my teeth even further so that we can finish with leveling. And then um, we are just going to stay with the braces on for another one month to keep my teeth um finally the way they will be and then we'll have the braces removed so i'm excited to find out when i'll have my braces removed uh, but for now that's what i'm doing and then after that i will go and do my eyebrows um they're really bad as you can see i hope you can see but they're really bad right now so i want to go and do my eyebrows after this because tomorrow i have an interview for some digital websites like tuko and can't remember the rest so i'll have some journalists come over to top ride to interview me about driving school and how we began and all that uh, so i need to have my eyebrows done today so that tomorrow the makeup will be on point because i'll have to take some pictures for the article so that's the plan for this afternoon it's already one o'clock so i will just wait for my doctor to finish so that I go and finish with my teeth and move on with the day. I think when we finish with the leveling, I should be a bit happier with my teeth. But right now, I'm not. I'm not excited about having the braces off because I can see all the imperfections with um, my smile. But I can admit that you know. Uh, from where we started with Dr. Wala and the extractions that we did and everything that I have gone through I am so happy with the progress I've made and I can't wait for the braces to come off so that I can show off my smile If you were here when we began this journey, you can remember how my teeth were looking so uh, And now my face has really changed everything has really shifted and I feel prettier i feel more beautiful than when i started and i'm so happy about that so anyway let me uh, wait for my doctor and then i'll talk to you when i'm leaving the clinic eyebrows place is not far from dr wala's clinic because it's just down the road here at james gishuru just at lovington mall upstairs there's a salon there called zuraya that's where i'll go and do my eyebrows so i guess i will see you when we are heading there at home and I want to unbox this so I have this box here uh, it's from Jimmy Choo I bought these shoes a very long time ago but I have never unboxed them because I was keeping them so that we can unbox together so now you know that they are shoes we can finally open this beautiful box 
So I'm gonna slide this thing off, the ribbon off. And then here is the box. And then inside are very beautiful shoes. I had to do makeup for the shoot that we did for the office today. So I went to Glam by Sly. Um, and she's the one who did my makeup and because it was so nice i said i will do the unboxing so that you can see this look that i have um so the shoes were individually packed in these bags and i suspect it's because they're made of leather and they have crystals so that they don't rub against each other i think that's why they have each of them has their own dust bag so that's the way they came in this bag here branded jimmy chu and this is the shoe it is nude leather pure leather by the way i don't know whether it's calf leather or what it is but that's the way the shoe looks jimmy chu with the Saroski crystals uh, the bottom is leather as you can see and inside looks like that So it's a size 37 and it fits perfectly on me. So I think it's a perfect sizing. I got these shoes when there was a sale on Farfetch and for a good price actually. I think there's nothing else in the box except these extra tissues. This is the other shoe which I will also unravel so that I can show you both shoes. So that's the way they look. I'm gonna get the heel covers. Are they called heel covers or? I'm gonna cover the bottom of the heels with this uh, sole protector. And the good thing about this thing is that it's a rough material that is nice when you're walking, you don't feel like you're gonna slide. And it definitely keeps the shoe looking good for a long time. This uh, unboxing videos, um, the people who really get offended by this kind of content. So, um, it's a struggle for me to do these kind of videos.